I'm here at Great Wall Motors at CES 2026, and I'm gonna end the video talking tech about this uh, demonstration property behind me. But first, let's walk through the three vehicles on display here. And I'm gonna start off with the Way 07. It could also be called the Way Lancien. Uh, I think I got that right. Let's start in the inside. Oh, somebody's in the inside. So let's start in the front. Uh, this is a plug-in hybrid. This is not a battery electric model, and I'll show you why. But it does have very nice, clean front. Uh, so there are air intakes there. Behind that grill is a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. Uh, that's you know, super common for PHEVs and even EREVs. But let me say it again, this is not an EREV. This is a plug-in hybrid, and why do I make the point of saying that? Because some, I gotta find out who it was attributed to, but a representative from Great Wall Motor recently said he would rather die than to sell an outdated technology e-revs. Uh, that's pretty bold. I mean, here in America, I think we're definitely warming up to the technology. Uh, you can see here, I'm gonna mention uh, self intelligent driving, smart driving. And anytime there's this turquoise indicator, that means that the vehicle is doing the steering. Uh-oh. Let's take a look inside. Now this one, this is super clean. Almost scary clean. I was talking to a guy earlier about the, uh, you know, the fact that this is a three row SUV and it could be a very nice family vehicle, but Boy, I don't know how you would keep this clean. That is somewhat of a uh, cultural difference. There are lots of Asian countries that really love these light interiors, but they keep them super clean. Um, whereas, you know, people in America sometimes just throw stuff in and YOLO. Anyway, on the inside, there are dual 15 inch displays. You can see them here. So they're two separate displays, but they form one standard sheet of glass and a i believe it's a 12.3 inch display now this plug-in hybrid it is a parallel plug-in hybrid system so a traditional one let's take a look in the back seat nice running boards that deploy and you can see plenty of entertainment for the rear passengers as well and some uh luxury accommodations very nice but there's actually nicer seats i'll show you in a bit Let's close this door. What's behind here? If it doesn't open, that's the gas cap. Let's take a look around the back. And I'm going to explain to you what HI4 stands for. And I'll tell you right now, it's a, let's see, hybrid, intelligent, four wheel drive. So this side must be, da da da. This is a Chinese model, so they separate the uh, AC and the DC and the AC plugs into one door. So this is the Way 07. I think this is the nicest one here. Oh, as far as uh, some specs, uh, EPA, the electric range is 180 kilometers. It's 112 miles, but what that works out to EPA, I don't know, but again, it's a plug-in hybrid, so you just put more gas in it to keep going. This one is the 500 tank. And it's, uh, it's kind of a land cruiser, brutish of, uh, of a vehicle. So it does have vehicle to load. You can see there's that uh, AC plug with an adapter and people charging their phones, nice. A rear mounted tire gives it probably some better ground clearance and maybe approach and departure angles. This would be the gas tank behind here. And the interior on this one, color combination, I, I really dig this. You got the, uh, I'm not sure how accurately it's coming through. I would uh, refer to this as like a caramel color, caramel or car caramel, uh, whatever. And a brown with this, uh, this uh, you know, it's simulated wood, but I really do like it. It's, uh, it's quite striking, if you will. And this is meant to be a more bully tank of a vehicle. So let's take a look at the front. You can see here, got the uh, the tank in there, very rugged. Again, does have a, a Land Cruiser kind of vibe. Guy behind me just said the same thing. It still does do smart driving technology, thus the uh, amber light indicators on those mirrors. 
when it is doing its own thing, those would come on. And it has a LiDAR sensor up front. Now this one, there is a difference in the powertrain technology for the 500 tank. So it is a different version of their HI4 technology, but you know, I'll get to that in a minute. Oh, and I should mention this too has a larger, because it is more rugged, a uh, little bit beefier vehicle. This has a two liter turbocharged engine because it is a parallel plug-in hybrid system. That engine is turning the front wheels and the rear wheels on this one. Way G9. And so this one has an interesting story. When Faraday Future showed off the FX Super 1, I kind of looked at it and said, oh, that must be some Chinese vehicle. What is the Way G9 that they're basing it off of? So this too is, wait for it, a parallel plug-in hybrid system. This one has the 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. Specs are similar to the Way 07 in terms of the, the range that you should expect from this. And just a uh, pretty, uh, pretty ostentatious grill. Faraday Future is actually over at the other side of the parking lot. I think maybe later in the week, I'm just gonna go over there and crash and uh, you know see if they let me in. This one on the inside, it's all that caramel colored with a similar wood, similar twin displays, so two 15 inch displays, as well as uh, you know a 12.3 inch display. So this is a six passenger model, and these are some of the thickest seats I've ever seen. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six. And hidden under here is the serious control panels. Now, if nobody's sitting in the back seat, you could just say, you know, screw them. I'm reclining back all the way. These seats go back all the, super far back into the vehicle and you can kick back and watch a movie. Now you might be wondering why a vehicle like this would be at a show in America. I'd say two reasons. Number one, I think companies like Great Wall Motors are just sending a signal like, yeah, we know we can't reasonably sell our vehicles in America right now, but you know what? Screw it. This is a global technology show and we wanna show off our global technology. Another reason though is Mexico. Great Wall Motors is available in Mexico, so it's only a few hour flight for journalists coming up from south of the border and they're here in force. I promised we would end at the technology display here for the HI4. This is the Z version. So I'll show you what that means. That is that 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. You would have the electric motor there that could act as a motor or generator. That's in the, I guess that'd be the P2 position. So it's in front of what would be the transmission. And this is a parallel hybrid system, a pl parallel plug-in hybrid system. So you can see it's got like a 45 kilowatt hour battery in this type of a application. And the power from the engine goes through there, the transmission and then to the front differential, or the electric motor can be doing the driving or both can be doing it. So that's why it's a parallel system. But this one to achieve four wheel drive adds an e-axle to the back so that's an electric motor only so there's no drive shaft connecting the front engine motor combination to the rear electric motor so that's why it's considered like an e-axle now the hi4 tank application though would be different in that there would be a drive shaft it'd be more of a transmission a drive shaft going to the rear axle with a differential and so that's why it does have a larger two liter turbocharged engine, kind of like a, maybe a Jeep Wrangler 4xe. So again, not an EVREV because Great Wall Motors would rather die than selling an outdated technology.